I hooked up a computer power supply to the MOSFET transmitter and you'll notice some hum in the background and this will probably be a problem you'll run into if you're going to operate a small transmitter inside the house. I'm not using an external mic so there'll be a little bit of camera noise also. I don't need any help. It's private. You can't go in there. I just want to talk to Sackhead. Look that up in your rule book. He don't want to talk. He's out to lunch anyway. Let me find out these things myself. Nobody goes in there, understand? Everybody's throwing up stop signs tonight. <laughs> I can't win all the time. Here's a short but very interesting demo. Okay, what we saw there was I've got the radio on the workbench and then I pause the audio and you can hear an audio beep every now and again, pause beep. But you can definitely hear the hum in the radio. Then when I go to the wall switch and turn it off, the transmitter gets quiet until the power supply runs out of voltage and then the background station comes in, which is what we'd expect if we got a power supply problem. However, when I turned it off at the power strip, the noise got louder and then of course the power supply ran out of voltage and then the background stations came in. Problems like this can be a real headache and kind of almost drive you nuts. Let's watch that demo again. Here's the setup in my house. In my workroom, we've got a top view on the left and on the right from the workbench view or side view. And what's missing here is the wiring in the house, which I'm representing like this. 
Now there's probably more wiring running overhead, but what I'm real sure of is the wires running down the wall on the right to the outlet sockets. So basically, I'm in a cage of 120 volt wiring around this little room. Now if we take just a look at the workbench view and add in the wiring that I know is there, what happens when I turn on the transmitter is the transmitter of course covers the whole house but it's very very strong right here in this little room and this transmitted signal gets into the wiring of the house and I'm representing it like this now it'd be alright if it would stay there but it doesn't stay there it actually re-radiates out of the wiring so what happens is the radio now is picking up directly from the transmitter and it's also picking up the signal from the wiring of the house so this is the multi-path part in other words there are more than one path that the receiver can pick up the same signal or slightly out of phase signal and there's a lot of wiring in the house well that's bad enough but most of the hum is from the re-radiation because there's 120 volts AC 60 cycle on all those wires which imprints or modulates that re-radiated signal and that is where the hum is coming from so it's very important where you place your transmitter in the house as far away from wiring as possible now to prove this I'm going to take this exact same setup outside of the house and do a demo video on that. What do you call fear? Narrow it down. I can't. Just, well, the other side is somewhere hovering over you and you, you didn't know what it was? Could be a blackjack or a second zombie. Will you help me? All I can do for nightmares, lady, is keep you up late. More real than that, believe me. Shows the money hiring me will cost you. You'll do it, then. You could be a sort of... of a bodyguard. Do I get to fill in the pauses? Well, at least I won't have to worry about you keeping your mind on your work. Wait here. I have to make a phone call. <laughs> away and it was smooth and easy to watch like a bird gliding on a bit of wind when she got out of sight I began to think about the hire I'd heard of rich dames doing crazy things but this was crowding the record Nobody as we saw in the video there's absolutely nothing wrong with the power supply. The problem totally is intermod being re-radiated from the wiring in the house. Thanks for watching.